So we are into the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League. We face our toughest side yet, Bayer Leverkusen. Only a couple of fixtures to look at since the last time we met, the first of which was a 3-2 home win against Manchester United. A fantastic performance from the boys. Mauricio Chan, Guido Bomber and Frankie Grand giving us our three goals. They did get a 78th minute second goal for them, which was a little bit nervy for the last 10, but uh, we managed to survive and get the three points. And then, disappointingly, we dropped two points on the road against Birmingham City. They went ahead 30 minutes in and through Connor Bushel, but Frankie Grant equalised in the 74th minute. And we kept banging on that door, but we couldn't find the winner. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We have dropped out of the top four. Only a point behind Leeds, Liverpool and Chelsea. Ugh, disappointing. Disappointing to be outside the top four. We've only got nine points to play for, so the maximum we can get is 72 points, which doesn't really put us that high on the leaderboard. But yeah, at Euro, Europe, Europe's what we've been focusing on this season. And uh, I guess that's going to continue to deal with the both legs. I think we are at home in the first leg against Bayer Leverkusen. We have Chelsea at home in between. So we'll be seeing the result from that game as well. Um, it's a big episode. Uh, could make or break our season. We've sort of put everything into this European competition. And if we are to get knocked out at this stage, it's all been for naught. So we do have a recovered Walter Delonzo who can start at right wing back for us today, which is absolutely fantastic. He is still lacking match fitness, so we will maybe have to take him off at some point during the game. And other than Annabel Zarate, who remains injured, we are at pretty much full strength. Zaverovic will, of course, start in goal. David Nuno, Guido Bomber, Walter Delonzo, Mario Buckle, Radek Rada is our back five. Sokolov and Mauricio Chan in the centre of midfield. Victor Hugo Cruz playing in behind Frankie Grant and Luis de Cordova. We need a win in this first leg. It's pure and simple. Leverkusen are not like the other sides. We've been massive favourites in every single tie previously. They are favourites for this one. They've got some very, very good players. Romario Laren has been a player I have chased for years. <laughs> Tried to get him as he is natural at right wing back, but he remained up by Leverkusen, and he's a fantastic, fantastic option. Zugaj as well is another one. Left wing back natural there who I've been chasing. Absolutely brilliant. Michael Metkiewicza. I mean, he's Polish, all right? I don't know how to say his second name. He's a very, very well-rounded central midfielder. They've got Garcia up top, who's a very, very good striker. He's six foot two, more of a target man. Something our defenders are going to have to get used to. Adore, fantastic little right winger they've got themselves there. Naturally, an attacking midfielder will playing out on the right-hand side today. Uh, why? Ehlers, 32. He's decent. I mean, they've got a fantastic squad. Uh, it's the hardest challenge we've faced in the Europa Conference League. Let's get the kick off and see how old boys compare. Right, I've done it again. I haven't recorded the bloody game. I've just gone to check on the recording and it hasn't recorded. Let's watch the goals together. Stoke City 3 by... <laughs> I can't believe it. By Leverkusen 0. Uh, Vitaly Sokolov got penalty first to put us 1-0 up. 25 minutes in. Uh, Frankie Grand, no it wasn't, it was Guido Bomber, got the second goal, Sokolov with the corner, this was both in the first half, then in the second half, Walter Delonzo done well down the right hand side, and find Sokolov in the box who found Frankie Grand, and that was how the game finished, it was a very, very even game, um, we were, well, I wasn't expecting a 3-0 win, but that's what we managed to be able to get, I can't believe I've done that again, so bloody annoying, but I haven't got it saved beforehand, otherwise I would have probably just reloaded so I could actually live come the match. But in the other leg though, Braga did beat Hearts away from home in their first leg. We have Chelsea coming up next. I'll uh, play that game, hit the record button, show you the result. And then I'll get to the Bayer Leverkusen second leg, hit the record button and show you the game. Massive, massive result in terms of the league. We get a 2-1 home win against Chelsea. Jonathan Owen on goal in the 24th minute, Frankly Grand in the 50th minute. Chumbinho got an 87th minute goal for them, but it wasn't enough. And let's take a look and see how that leaves the Premier League table. So we now rise to second place with only two games to go. We want to get Champions League football for Stoke City. And uh, one more win will probably be enough. Liverpool are two points behind us in fifth position. And obviously all the teams above us need a better over results at the same time. So one more win, hopefully. So here we are at the second leg. Annabel Zarate is fit for today's game. I'm not going to start him. I'll probably bring him on for De Cordova at some point. Uh, we'll take Scafidis off and put Jubilbis on the bench. Other than that, we are full strength. Zaverovic, Nuno, Bomber in the defence. Delonzo, Rada, wingbacks. Buckle, Sokolov, Chan in the midfield. Cruz behind De Cordova and Frankie Grand. Obviously being 3-0 up is absolutely massive, but that was the home leg. 
Got to be very, very careful in this away leg. Bayer Leverkusen have some dangerous, dangerous players. And I'm not even sure if you saw them. Did you see them? I might have shown you them. I think I got that bit recorded. I think it was literally just the match that I didn't record. It looks like a pretty much the exact same team will play us today with the exact same formation. There might be some tactical tweaks by them though, so we'll have to be careful. Let's kick off and see how we get on. First highlight of the game here, 14 minutes in. Mario Buckle steps over the free kick, goes for goal. The keeper saves it, but you probably should have let it go. It was definitely going wide. We'll have a corner though. It will be Victor Hugo, Cruz the man to take it. Guido Bomber, of course, wins the header, but he goes over the bar. Another highlight now, 24 minutes in. It's Leverkusen on the attack down the right-hand side. Lauren's ball is played in and headed over at the back post. And there we are. A pretty boring first half. Exactly what we are after, though. Bayer Leverkusen really need to come at us in this second half. Looks like they haven't changed tactic yet, but uh, we'll keep an eye. Tell you what, we'll get Annabel Zaradi on for his half an hour game time. We'll take off Lewis De Cordova, who hasn't played very well in the past 10 games or so. Um, he definitely must rely on Annabel Zaradi's creativity to be able to get him some opportunities in the box. And Frankie Grant isn't really that sort of player. As we get ourselves another highlight, 66 minutes in by Leverkusen in possession in the midfield. Played out of the left-hand side. Oh, don't be a red card. Don't be a red. Oh, Walter Delonso. He's suspended for the final if we make it, man. We haven't got a right wing back. Why is it always Delonso against his former side as well? All right, well, we're going to take off Frankie Grand now. Um, Annabel Zarate is going to have to do the work by himself. We're going to drop our wing backs back. We'll bring on Zach Howes at right back. That is so annoying. We've gone on the counter. We've got 20 minutes to survive with 10 men. Highlight 68 minutes in. Bayer Leverkusen with a free kick down the right-hand side. It's played about to the left-hand side. Ledesma. Oh, come on, boys. Win this ball, please. Zugaj on the edge of the box. Back to Ledesma. The whipped in. Garcia is there. Offside? No, he's not offside either. Jose Maria Garcia's 25th goal of the season. Gets Bayer Leverkusen one. Oh, my God. Corner for Bayern. Bayer Leverkusen. Oh, it's cleared over the bar. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, it's highlight after highlight. Should we, I'm going to go back to balanced. I think we're sitting off them a little bit too much. And it's causing us massive, massive issues at the back. Romario Laren picks up the ball on the right-hand side. He plays it into the centre. It doors in. Oh, Zavarovic with a good save. There. Ever since we went balanced, things have calmed down. We'll take off Radic Rada for Ole Korobov at left wing back. A free kick for Leverkusen. Seven minutes to go. Oof, and they hit the post. Walter Delonso is a bloody liability. He's been injured so much this season and now suspended for a final of a European competition. You've let the side down, mate, but we have made it to the final. By Leverkusen 1, Stoke City nil 3-1 on aggregate. Thankfully, the first leg was enough. Will we be playing Hearts or Braga? Was it Hearts and Braga? It was. We will be playing Braga, who went through on away goals. Let's see that key player, Andres Munoz. He's decent. He's good, but is he that great? I mean, listen, we'll talk about that next time. So the situation is we've got a couple of league games still to go. Um, if after the West Ham game we still need something from this West Brom game, we'll play West Brom and Braga for the final episode of the series. Otherwise, if we're qualified for the Champions League after the West Ham game, I'm just going to bring you the Braga game. Uh, the West Brom game will mean very little. But West Brom have dropped to 18th. They need a win. <laughs> do we throw the game to keep them in the league? No, I'm not going to do that, but uh, it is a consideration. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.